2019 Ford Expedition Black, 2019 Ford Expedition Platinum, 2019 Ford Expedition Max, New Cars Buy. Welcome to our car blog, this time we will be share information about the latest cars is coming from Ford brand. The title of an article we take is 2019 Ford Expedition Black, 2019 Ford Expedition Platinum, 2019 Ford Expedition Max, New Cars Buy. We will be try discuss details about this car, ranging from, reviews, concept, redesign, rumors, exterior, interior, specs, changes, engine, colors, pictures, release date and also prices. Congratulation to read and we hope you enjoy it and then we'll come back again here. 2019 Ford Expedition Black, 2019 Ford Expedition Platinum, 2019 Ford Expedition Max, New Cars Buy, a new full-size SUV benchmark, the 2019 Ford Expedition tops almost every category from towing to third-row comfort. The 2019 Ford Expedition is a category killer. It weds excellent performance with pure and clean styling and substantial cargo and people space, whether in standard or long wheelbase Expedition Max form. Offered in XLT, Limited, and Platinum trim, we give the 2019 Expedition a 6.3 out of 10, with strong scores in utility and safety, and predictably, a low score in gas mileage. Hewn from aluminum the body panels, at least the latest Ford Expedition joins pickup truck and SUV styling themes, to excellent effect. It's essentially an F-150 with three rows of seats, after all, and the cohesive wagon shape looks even better than Ford's rugged best-selling truck. It's all straight edges and clean lines here, which gives the Expedition great outward vision and a great look. Inside, the cabin's a knockoff of the F-150, with chunky controls for the transmission one of the few notable changes. Ford's 3.5-liter, twin-turbocharged V6 couples to a 10-speed automatic and rear or four-wheel drive. Most expeditions churn out 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque, but the Platinum ups that to 400 HP and 480 lb-ft. The powertrain throbs and whistles with a performance car heartbeat, but will pull up to 9,300 pounds. The expedition's no lightweight, but its ride and handling are commendable for a 5,400 pound truck, and it can slug it out off-road with site-specific tires and shocks. In either standard or max trim, the 2019 Expedition carries more than its fair share. Up to seven passengers can share up to 172 cubic feet of space, two people can ride with up to 121.5 cubic feet if they're more into possessions than friends. In almost every position, the Expedition offers lots of all-day ride comfort, lots of charging points and cup holders, and lots of flexibility. It's nearly as talented as a minivan. Safety scores aren't complete but the Expedition does well in federal crash tests. We wish its base screen wasn't so small, or that automatic emergency braking didn't cost at least $6,000 over the XLT space price. In other regards, the Expedition outfits itself fantastically for any journey, short or long. It offers a vast list of features, from blind spot monitors to high-end BNO audio, to an expansive panoramic roof and sling TV service delivered via in-car wireless internet. All ate up with options, the Expedition can cost more than $84,000, that's where we'd steer you in the direction of the fabulous, and fabulously expensive, Lincoln Navigator. Styling. The 2019 Ford Expedition tailors its big SUV shape with appealing, crisp lines. Crisp and clean of extraneous detail outside, the 2019 Ford Expedition has a neatly composed cabin that might be mistaken for a Lincoln in some parts of the country. We like it enough to give it a couple of points above average, for a 7 here. Redesigned in 2018, the latest Ford Expedition marries the SUV body to the Ford F-150S truck face and chiseled stone features. The C-shaped headlights still look like tools, if expensive ones, while the Expedition's softer grille avoids the razor-sharp look of its more recent trucks. At its best in profile, the Expedition wears an aero-straight belt line and slab-sided body panels that look retro and cutting-edge, all at once. The tall doors and thick welts of chrome block out a shape that's long on substance as well as size. The letdown comes at the back, where plain tail lights can be lit by lead. A chrome strip spans the back, stamped with Expedition, in case you forgot which SUV you bought. Big wheels amp up the big wheel feel, 18s on base SUVs can swell to 20 inches, or 22 inches from the options list. The Expedition cockpit embraces the F-150S styling cues more overtly. The dash looks like a carbon copy, but with better fit and finish. The biggest departure comes at the center console, in the Expedition, the console grows busy with a rotary shifter and the controls for the shift on the fly four-wheel drive system. On platinum models, Ford shows off all it's learned about truck buyers and how much money they want to spend. The platinum dives deep into the luxury bin and comes up with beautifully stitched leather on the seat bolsters and door panels, real wood trim, 
and fine chrome details that make for a lovely driving environment. Performance The 2019 Ford Expedition belts out straight-line acceleration and great ride quality that belies its size. The 2019 Ford Expedition quaffs miles behind the power of a strong twin-turbo engine, available four-wheel drive, and an independent suspension. Of all the full-size SUVs without luxury badges, it's the most accomplished performer. We give it a couple of points above average for its muscular drivetrain, and call it a 7 here. All Expedition draw power from a 3.5-liter, twin-turbocharged V6 with dueling power outputs. Base XLT and mid-grade limited models come in 375 HP tune, with 470 lb-ft of torque on tap. In the Expedition Platinum, the same Rorty power plant snorts out another 25 HP and 10 lb-ft, for a total of 400 HP and 480 lb-ft of torque. The Expedition's no lightweight, at more than 5,400 pounds despite a set of lighter weight body panels, but no matter. The extreme power the twin-turbo V6 pumps out gives the SUV a point-and-shoot feel. It never feels sluggish or short on power, thanks to those whistling turbos and their addictive, jet fighter noises. Credit also goes to the slick-shifting 10-speed automatic, which drops a few cogs at a time to plant the Expedition within a thick peak torque band that begins at a lowish 2,250 rpm. The gear changes happen in rapid-fire real-time, but mostly go unnoticed, unless a planted foot on the gas calls up a three-gear downshift. The powertrain helps the Expedition to a class-high tow rating of 9,300 pounds. A heavy-duty tow package ensures the transmission and cooling systems can keep up, while an FX4 off-road package dresses up four-wheel drive models and extracts the most from the Expedition's traction control systems. The usual snow-slash-gravel-slash-pavement modes add specific FX4 programs for driving in sand or mud, and very throttle and shift patterns to suit. Expedition Ride and Handling We think any SUV of this size starts off with a handling demerit based on weight and size. That said, the Expedition has a charming hustle that takes the awkwardness out of the equation. Electric power steering takes a quick set in corners, and shrinks the driving feel of the behemoth SUV. Weighted well off-center, the Expedition steering doesn't have great feedback really. With those all-season tires? And that wheelbase, but it's quick and natural enough in feel. A standard independent suspension gets upgraded on some Expeditions with adaptive shocks that react to driving conditions to quell errant ride motions. The Expedition still has copious body lean and dives into corners, but in a very well-controlled way, without surprise. It's as precise as a vehicle its size can be, progressive and easy to drive quickly. Comfort and Quality The 2019 Ford Expedition conducts a master class on utility. The Ford Expedition has vast cargo space, good fit, and finish, and seats for seven passengers. Its extreme utility earns a score of 9 here, and bumps elbows with the closely related Lincoln Navigator. The Expedition kicks off things in the front row with a comfortable power driver seat, a high driving position, cloth upholstery, and well-placed bolsters. It's a best-case scenario lazy boy, with the kind of spread-out comfort that endures through a whole tank of gas, if you can drive that long without pause. Ford bundles leather upholstery and 10-way power adjustment for both front seats in a package that's somewhat pricey. The Expedition has enormous doors, which makes access to the second and third row seats easy. The second row can be configured with a split bench seat or with a pair of recommended captain's chairs on limited and platinum models. They have even better access to the third row and more support, too, but in both cases, the second row seats slide forward, even when a child car seat is fitted. Third row space is expansive enough for adults to ride on a long road trip. There's plenty of legroom, not to mention four cup holders. Headroom is a bit tight for very tall passengers, but the power fold and power recline seat can accommodate with minor adjustments. Behind the third row seat, the Expedition has 20.9 cubic feet of storage space, with a relatively low cargo floor thanks to its compact independent rear suspension. The Max model has 36 cubic feet. Fold down the third row seat and the standard SUV has 63.6 cubic feet of space, the Max, 79.6 cubic feet. In carry-all mode, the Expedition sports 104.6 cubic feet of space behind the front seats, and a massive 121.5 cubic feet behind the Max's front row. Ford sells most Expeditions with a hands-free power tailgate, and a nifty cargo management system isn't very expensive. Base Expeditions have dark but well-fitted cabins. At the Platinum level, the Expedition wears wood and leather that nearly trips into Lincoln Navigator territory. We'd be very satisfied with the Platinum, that is, if we hadn't lived with a blue leather Lincoln. Safety Safety ratings are incomplete, but the 2019 Ford Expedition has the odds in its favor. Safety data for the 2019 Ford Expedition hasn't been completed, but we give it a 7 here for its strong federal crash test scores and for its available safety gear. 
We deduct a point because most of that safety gear comes at a high cost. The 2019 expedition earns a 5-star score from the NHTSA in 4WD form. A sole 4-star score for rollover resistance notwithstanding. The IIHS hasn't crash-tested the SUV yet. Every expedition comes with parking sensors, on base models, the rear-view camera displays on an absurdly small screen, but it's there. Ford really should make some of the expedition safety options standard. To spec out any Expedition XLT with forward collision warnings and automatic emergency braking, you'll have to spend more than $6,000 on other ancillary gear. Blind spot monitors, same boat. Adaptive cruise control and active lane control, too. It's all walled off beyond a $60,000 price point, which makes the base Expedition seem uninterested in the latest safety technology. Most of it comes at a $3,000 plus premium on the Expedition Limited, while it's mostly standard on the Expedition Platinum, which also offers LED headlights and a surround view camera system. The Expedition offsets some of those stiff penalties with excellent outward vision. Features The 2019 Ford Expedition rings all the luxury bells, and blows all the whistles just not in XLT trim. The 2019 Lincoln, ER, Ford Expedition packs an enormous list of features in its rolling dop kit. Sling TV service, 6 USB outlets, seating for 7, power everything, and a trailer view camera for hitching up and heading out give the Expedition unparalleled, minivan-like functionality, minus the sliding doors. Base models lack some critical features that should be standard in vehicles that cost this much. The Expedition doesn't come with automatic emergency braking or Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Those omissions offset a really rich set of available features. We give it a 5 out of 10 for features. The base Ford Expedition XLT has some great functionality built it, from its 7-seat cabin to its twin-turbo drivetrain. It's fitted with power features, a power driver seat, a power folding third-row seat, cruise control, climate control, 18-inch wheels, and an AM-FM-satellite-CD audio system with a handful of USB ports and 9 speakers, and a very small LCD touchscreen. Forward collision warnings and automatic emergency braking can be fitted to this model, but only after the addition of more than $6,000 of other features. The same's true for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If you want those systems and we recommend them you'll push the Expedition's price to nearly $60,000. Other option packages ladle on the goodies, from leather upholstery, to 10-way power front seats, an 8.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system, blind spot monitors, heated and cooled front seats, keyless ignition, and a power hands-free tailgate. Off-roaders can opt for a bundle of gear that adds tougher shocks, a low-range transfer case, all-terrain tires, underbody protection, running boards, and an electronic limited slip differential. All trim levels can be configured with four-wheel drive and long wheelbase bodies, as well as a heavy-duty trailering package with an automatic trailer assist controller that makes hitching up as simple as a turn of a knob. The Expedition Limited is our idea of what a base premium SUV should be. It adds 20-inch wheels, premium BNO audio, power running boards, hands-free tailgate, heated and cooled 10-way power front seats, leather upholstery, a heated steering wheel, parking sensors, and blind spot monitors, as well as in-car wireless internet access, and a rear seat entertainment system with Sling TV. Automatic emergency braking is another $715, other options include navigation, a panoramic sunroof, 22-inch wheels, LED headlights, automatic park assist, and adaptive cruise control with active lane control. The Expedition Platinum offers nearly all this equipment standard, as well as a surround view camera system. Options at the top end include leather second-row captain's chairs and power-fold second-row bench seats. It's exceptionally pricey, but worth a look if you might instead spend even more on the mechanically similar Lincoln Navigator. Fuel Economy Gas mileage falls out of focus in the 2019 Ford Expedition. The EPA hasn't rated the 2019 Ford Expedition yet, but we assume its 2018 figures will carry over, since nothing has changed under the hood. We give it a 3 for gas mileage, based on combined EPA ratings that fall below 20 mpg in nearly all versions. The best 2019 Expedition for fuel economy is the base rear drive version. The EPA says it's good for 17 mpg, 24 highway, 20 combined. The same drivetrain a 3.5 liter, twin turbocharged V6 coupled to a 10-speed automatic generates ratings of 17-22-19 mpg when fitted with four-wheel drive. The long wheelbase Expedition Max turns in ratings of 17-23-19 mpg when configured with rear-wheel drive, with four-wheel drive, it's pegged at 16-21-18 mpg. Thanks.